These are the last 100 years of kids' toys. And no matter when you were a kid, we all had one thing in common. A favorite toy. Whoa! Oh, oh gosh. Well, almost all of us. No, no, please, no! <laughs> And to make sure my kids don't turn into that, I'm ranking every single one of them. Starting with Welcome to the 1900s. Back when you could get any toy you wanted for one of these. Let's see what we got in here. 1900s teddy bear. Oh, I don't want to touch it. It looks so creepy. Hello there. It's like rock solid. It's not cuddly at all. Original price, 10 cents. I paid $73. Look at the bite marks. <laughs> The test. Use it to soothe me softly into a nice sleep. Yeah, no, I'm not asleep. I'm so creeped out by this thing. The last thing it's doing is putting me to sleep. Although it's a classic, there's better out there. D tier. Welcome to 1910. No. <laughs> what is that? It's the size of my finger. 1910, toy train. Look at the listing. You can see why I thought it was big, right? MSRP, 19 cents. I paid $24.50. Lionel Train, the only model trains with Magna Traction. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Trains, A tier. Size doesn't matter. 1920. Oh, original Lincoln Logs from 1920. Patented August 31st, 1920. Lincoln Logs from Play School, a Milton Bradley company. I grew up playing with these a hundred years later. MSRP, 50 cents. I paid 66.79. That is all real wood. I'm gonna build myself a house. The noise these things make when they hit each other is just so satisfying. <laughs> The kid that first played with these is probably dead. We got ourselves a brand new 1920s household. Let me give you the tour. The, uh, the front door, and then take a peek inside. Well, there, there's actually no, nothing inside, but um, we'll just... Lincoln Logs, let's be real, the easiest S tier of all time. Welcome to the 1930s. What is that? Don't tell me this is the head. Oh, there's a string on the back of it. Oh, no. Welcome to the 1930s and ventriloquist dolls. Oh, is this actually going to move when I pull the string? Hello, my name is Decapitation Man. MSRP, 87 cents. I paid 55, 55. I don't like this at all. This thing looks like it's going to haunt me. This thing is definitely going to come alive at night. Okay. What is this? Pretty. I think the doll deserves a deer. I'm not going to lie because it's actually pretty fun. I mean, listen to the doll. I guess he's A tier. 1940. What in the world? What is that? Before the magic eight ball became the magic eight ball, it was this, Psycho Slate. MSRP, 70 cents. I paid 26. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it says Outlook not so good. I guess we gotta ask it a question. Should everyone watching this video subscribe? This one is so faint, but it says, it is decidedly so. It's only fair that you click subscribe right now. Psycho Slate, A tier. Before we move on, we got one more toy. Oh! 1940s, the Slinky. MSRP, $1. I paid $24.44. You can tell it's real metal because it's literally rusting over. I just saw a cloud of rust come off of that thing. Up the stair without a care and shoot so high in the sky. Bounce up and down just like a clown. Everyone knows it's Slinky. I have never been able to successfully use a Slinky, so I really hope this works. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yo! Yo, it actually works! I need to get this thing to go all the way down. Come on. Come on. Please. Go. Go, buddy. Go. Yes! Yes! Let's go! I mean, it's fun, but it's still kind of mid. I'm putting it at B tier. I feel like I need a tetanus shot after that one. <laughs> The 1950s. This video is like Christmas. I'm like opening presents. It's like great. There's definitely some bite marks in this one. 1950. Mr. Potato. MSRP, 98 cents. I paid 32.20. What you have, bro? Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head with their own cars and trailers. That's what's new. I'm sure you already knew about Mr. Potato Head. But have you seen Mr. Bell Pepper Head? How about Mr. Cucumber Head? They're like a happy family. I don't remember Mr. Potato Head having hands. A little suit. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. He's gonna sit on my desk all the time. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head and family. 
absolutely S tier. All right, the 60s. What we got in here? Oh, I know what that is from a mile away. Yeah, buddy. Light bright. This was a huge part of my childhood. 1960, light bright. MSRP, $6.95. And of course, I paid $50.99. What? Look at the other side. This is so cool, dude. Light bright, making things look light. Light bright, making things look light. Light bright. The toy that lets you create beautiful pictures with light. Work with colorful pegs that glow with light. Welcome to my light bright studio. Just using this thing brought back so many memories. But honestly, the design hasn't changed that much over the years. Light bright, overall, a great toy. B2. We're not done with the 1960s just yet. Ew! <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I don't want to have to use that. This is a Chatty Cathy doll. MSRP, $14.95. I paid $73. Hello, my name is... Chatty Cathy. Oh, but wait, she'll say it herself because she speaks. Oh, Chatty Cathy, oh, Chatty Cathy, you're the tell famous talking doll. We pull the ring and you say 11 different things. Look, play hard. Where's the speaker? Oh! How does this even work? How does it not have batteries in it and it's talking? No! Nope! Nope! If anyone wants a free doll, leave a comment down below. I'll send it to you for free. I don't want this thing in my household. Welcome to the 1970s. For this one, we're heading outside. What is in this package? You tell me what that looks like. Let's open it up. What in the... No way! It's a pogo stick! My neighbor just saw me with this hat on outside in the winter in Crocs with a pogo stick from 1970 that looks a little too much like something else. I don't think I'll ever be coming outside again. A 1970s pogo stick. Look how rusty the spring is. I have never used a pogo stick. <laughs> oh, I did it. I have a goal. <laughs> I want to try and get 10 jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Oh, where is the Nine. Ten. <laughs> this thing is absolutely S tier. Now we're in the 1980s. And that's a sketch. If you think this is magic, watch this. The etch -a sketch magic screen. Turn the dials and like magic lines appear out of nowhere. But the magic isn't just in how you draw. It's also in how you erase. I happen to be known as the master of Etch-A-Sketches. Please give me a moment while I doodle the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Mona Lisa. Don't you see the resemblance? I mean, come on, I nailed it. Nope, nope, nope. I will not be playing with that. Another thing on the list of things I never wanted to enter my household, a Furby. Oh, you are terrifying. Why is it staring into my soul? No, that's straight out of Five Minutes at Freddy's. The talking toys trend needed to never exist. No one needed toys to talk. <gasps> What's that? It's my Furby. Tickle me. Furby, the first Giga Pet oh, you pet. Go ahead, pet me. Teach to say her name. Parents of the 90s, you let your child play with this thing? No wonder our generations are all screwed up. Listen to me, kid. If you say one thing out of line, you see that window? Yeah. Do you see it? Do you see it? I'm hurling you out of the three-story window. Is it supposed to be talking right now? I think he's broken. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be talking and he's not. Maybe that's for the better. Furby, I, it didn't matter. It didn't matter anyway. It didn't matter how you acted. E tier. It's good to be back. I welcome you to the 2000s. Objectively, without a doubt, the best time to be a kid. This is the best toy from the 2000s. The first. An honorable mention. Crayons. But not just crayons. Oh, it's been a while. This is a crayon maker. If you grew up in the 2000s, I hope you had this toy. It's very simple, we unwrap this. Once you have your crayons, you open this baby up. Now you can do up to four crayons, but I'm only doing two for this demonstration. Turn it on, crank this knot, and now we wait. I don't think the heat lamp is in it. That's why this was an honorable mention. Well, in theory, it's supposed to melt, and then you go like this. And then it makes a crayon and then you get to color fun colors. So back to what's important. The best toy of the 2000s. If you didn't grow up with this, I honestly feel bad for you. These, my friends, are Beyblades. Beyblade, Beyblade, Red Rip. Beyblade, Beyblade, Red Rip. 
You take this and you put it on here. Then you take this and you thread it through there. Then you find some hardware. Hold this like this, put your finger in there, and pull. <laughs> oh, baby. These would cause the biggest school fights of all time. We would trade them. You could spin them at other blade blades and try and knock them over. And then they got banned because someone got hit in the eye with them. Sorry, Michael. Easily the best toy of the 2000s and probably of all time. And finally, the 2020s. Oh, hey, look. I think I know what that is. An iPad. I'm just gonna flip the screen around. You can feel free to answer the question on the screen however you'd like. 